ang author po ng Salang Increase na House Bill 8081 ay isa na pong Department of Finance Secretary, si former Senator and now Congressman Ralph Recto. Ano kaya ang magagawa niya na para pataasin ang salary ng ating mga guro at mga empleyado ng gobyerno? in efficiently and effectively spending those uh, collections because the citizens reward for tax compliance should be better and more responsive public services he will continue to help devise strategies that will tame inflation through a basket of responses ranging from plug plugging supply gaps to inject injecting non-monetary measures so that prices will be stable I, uh, I am uh, certain that he will be championing reforms, leverage his influence in both houses of Congress into passing bills that accelerate growth, draw in investments, and create better jobs while raising funds that will be invested back for human and physical capital formation. Many of the measures that make tax regimes more efficient, easy to administer and to comply with, and equitable are in the advanced stages in the House both houses of Congress, the proverbial low-hanging fruit which can be picked by the towering stature of these two gentlemen here. I also have uh, um, asked him to be at the forefront of our anti-smuggling drive, pursue tax uh, cheats, starting with the habitual ones who have raised tax evasion not just into an art but into a business. And when the seductive call of populism beckons, I am sure that Secretary Recto will counsel us on the merits of fiscal discipline to remind us of the price tag of dreams and to stick to the kind of stewardship that bequeaths no huge generational debt for our children. Secretary Ralph and I both entered the House of Representatives in 1992. Uh, we, he, beat me by a few months uh, at being the Benjamin of, uh, of the house uh, in 1992. Uh, after 15 years, we were re reunited in the Senate, still displaying his vintage virtue of being fastidious with the examination of appropriations of the national budget, of re revenue and economic numbers. Ask any senator who has worked with borders on the pure de he, he he enters into the detail and uh, it is a brave uh, senator or congressman now uh, who will rise to be interpolate to interpolate uh, senator now secretary ralph recto because you do not rise unless you are very well prepared because he is always very well prepared he is uh, his uh, work in the legislature um, is, in a, is done in a manner that does not generate heat, but light. He finds a way through the problems that we see, not to show off or not to uh, cause problems, but to make bills better and to make the function of government more efficient and uh, more equitable. He... Uh, <laughs> We, we have always suspected that he sleeps uh, under his pillow uh, with, un with the General Appropriations Act under his pillow and he treats the tax code as leisurely reading and his copy of the budget and expenditures and sources of financing is probably the most dog-eared book in his, uh, in, his, uh, in his house. And any new finance secretary stands on the mighty shoulders of his predecessors and Secretary Recto is no exception. And we cannot uh, uh, finish this, uh, uh, this event uh, here, we, here this afternoon without a very heartfelt uh, and warm wishes and gratitude to Secretary Ben Jokno for the services that he has given to the Department of Finance in his time as Department of Finance. As you may remember, uh, he was pillow and he treats the tax code as leisurely reading and his copy of the budget and expenditures and sources of financing 
is probably the most dog-eared book in his, uh, in, his, uh, in his house. And any new finance secretary stands on the mighty shoulders of his predecessors, and Secretary Recto is no exception. And we cannot uh, uh, finish this, uh, uh, this event uh, here, we, here this afternoon without a very heartfelt uh, and warm wishes and gratitude to Secretary Ben Jokno for the services that he has given to the Department of Finance in his time as Department of Finance. As you may remember, uh, he was, uh, he was uh, the governor of the BSP uh, when I first came into office. And he was uh, uh, due to retire middle of uh, last year. But we, I think we all ganged up on him and asked him to please continue uh, as Department of Finance simply because we had to get the economy, we had to get our policies onto the right track. And he has done a splendid job as secretary. And uh, during his watch, when the pandemic's lingering effects congealed with new crises, which would have created the perfect storm had they not been diffused. Being one of our country's pillars of economic management, we shall continue to rely on your expertise and exuberance as a member now of the Monetary Board. Maraming maraming salamat from a grateful nation, Secretary Ben Jokdong. He has, uh, we, the original plan actually was for us to, I asked uh, Secretary Ben Jokno if he would like to join uh, the Maharlika um, Investment Fund and the management of that, and to also serve as a liaison between the private sector in, in that, in that uh, capacity, in the Maharlika Fund, uh, as a liaison between government and the private sector and the fund. Uh, but uh, he begged off, uh, saying that this is the, uh, in the investment fund, a sovereign fund, is not in with what he feels is a specialty of his. So he will return to his purely financial duties now in the Monetary Board. Once again, I cannot uh, thank uh, Secretary Ben Jokno enough for setting the economy onto the right path. He has guided us. He has put the, uh, uh, the essentials into place. He has made the structural changes that we need. And therefore, uh, he has uh, uh, these uh, economic figures, the results that we are getting, uh, a lot of that can certainly be attributable to the work that he did as Department of Finance Secretary. And what makes me happier is that this changing of the guard in the government's most important outpost is between Batangueños, science of illustrious Filipinos, patriots and professionals like their grandfathers. And I have saved the best for last. I would like to welcome back to Malacanang the talented and elegant Gilma, who has, uh, you know why I say, I say that she has, uh, I, I, uh, that I say that she has returned to Malacanang. If you remember, uh, si Ate V, uh, siyang gumaganap kay Aimee sa mga sine. Uh, yung una, yung iginuhit ng lahi, at yung iginuhit ng tadana, and uh, the, the, the next one was ipinagbuklod ng lahi. And I still remember the, the time that I really became friends with her was when they were shooting here in the palace uh, for the, for the in 1968, uh, preparing for uh, the elections of 1969. So uh, he, she's, uh, it's a welcome back uh, to the palace. It took me a long time to get uh, Secretary Ralph to say yes, but I was told it was still shorter than the time for Vilma to say yes to Ralph almost 40 years ago. Okay, sineswerte pa rin to ng ating kaibigan na si Secretary Ralph. My fellow Filipinos, these two gentlemen embody the values of competence, integrity, and the deep sense of responsibility that we look for in our government leaders. Together, they will form part of a dynamic team committed to steering our economic policies towards inclusivity and progress. 
We will work towards creating an environment that encourages investment, stimulates economic opportunities, and uplifts the lives of every Filipino citizen. I thus call up upon everyone to support our new secretaries as they assume these critical roles in the government. Let us join hands and uh, build a future where economic prosperity is shared by all, where opportunities abound, and where the Philippines stands tall on the global stage. Thank you very much and uh, good afternoon.